Hey friends, we are in my office today. I've got all my seeds pretty much laid out. Um, I'm gonna show you what I use. I am ready to put some more seeds. That's my stomach. <laughs> and I wanted to show you my process. This is new. Just to give you an idea, last year, Smart Pots, first time, and I just pretty much laid seed out based on what I thought was okay. I didn't do a lot of research on a lot of things. Um, so I think this year I'm a little bit more prepared. I'm gonna read the back of the seed packet so that I get an idea on days and what I need to plant right now. But I'm also really just testing my zone, my area, my climate, what I can really grow. So I'm not too concerned with the time it's going to um, take for me to take care of these seeds and plants. I'm really just experimenting. I'm okay with wasting seeds. So just keep that in mind <laughs> that I might lay out a lot of seeds and I might put seeds in that are probably not going to germinate, but I'm okay with that because that's how I'm gonna learn. So I'm gonna take you on that journey with me. And just because a lot of you have asked and I really did want to share because I really need to come back and see what I've done wrong and so forth. So I don't want to ramble too much, but I did want to give you a heads up that um, this is really my second year gardening. So laying out my seeds and figuring out a process is really new. I don't have um, too much to compare to. So anyways, let me show you what I have and we'll get started. Keep in mind, you're going to see the keyboard and stickies. It's just my workspace. All right, these I purchased, let me clip this on correctly. These I purchased from the container store. This is my seed storage container. I actually have two of those. I have one over here. And they are to carry photos, four by six photos. I'm gonna link these on the description below where you can find them at the container store or on Amazon. I really like them because you can carry it with you like this. You can stack them. So right now I have this one just opened, but you can stack them. You can label them pretty well, um, which I don't have them labeled yet because I'm still trying to figure out my system, but I have plans on putting here labels on each side. Let me just open it. I do have plans on labeling here um, what my varieties are. So that's the storage. Um, you do have to put these containers in a dark area because they are cleared. So just keep that in mind. Another thing to know is that these do clip. They have a little clip here. Um, and it is it is a little bit hard. So you do have to use some force. Let's see. See, it's, it's pretty pretty hard clip there um, to get them open. But you can put your seeds in. I like to see them. Um, and you can actually put some in the back too, so you can see uh, if you have multiple seeds. But right now I have them categorized. All of these is what I'm going to seed right now, and it's a little bit late. And then I have a label here because I don't want to pass through these. Over here on this side, I have my next set of seeds. So after I go in and sow these, I'm going to uh, move on to these. And my seeds are from different places. Um, I like to purchase local first and then go on to online. Um, these are from Callie Kim. I love her YouTube channel and I've purchased some seeds from her before and I really like them. She's also in a zone similar to mine. She's South um, California. I ordered her fall collection and it was three packages. And then, so I'm reusing the packages and I'm labeling the month where I'm gonna uh, sow the seeds. But I wanted to show you, I think that's September side. This is that side. Um, so, oh, I didn't mention, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got 12 um, containers here and there's another one that's an extra large size that has eight, so 16 in total. Um, that's actually pretty cool. I think I would have purchased that one instead of this one. Um, so now let's move on to the seeds. 
So one thing I forgot to mention is I am in zone nine. Sometimes it's 9A, I believe. South Texas. <laughs> it's still pretty hot here. And our first frost is not until the first or second week of December. So we ha I have a good amount of time. One thing to consider is to have a calendar, which I don't have with me, but I'm gonna show you real quick how you can just map it out. Um, I like to do things on paper, um, even though I have a calendar, easy access on my phone, um, I like to draw things out. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, this is gonna be very, very simple. So bear with me. And remember I said that our first frost is in the first, um, second week of December. Okay. Okay, that is before um, December 1st. Okay, I've got a total of 91 days. That's as easy as it gets, really. So if we're looking at this seed packet, see how we have 75 to 80 days from transplanting, and this is frost sensitive. So I've got 90 days left. A lot of you don't. Um, so just make sure that you're within that time frame. Um, um, so I'm gonna give this one a try. This is a tomato. I've never grown a yellow tomato um, or a tried one. So this is the time to experiment and see if this works out. So for this one, I actually put a little dot here because once I saw that temperature, um, you look at your average temperature for your state or for your city and look at the monthly temperature, highs and lows. And during September, our highest are gonna be around 85 degrees. So it's the perfect time for the bush bean. And because this is a different label, I actually added this little dot here and that dot represents September. So as I was sorting through my seeds, I was adding a this is a colored pen, so you, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's sort of a maroon color, and that lets me to organize these by the month, which I think is the easiest thing to do. Another thing to look at is that you see this one has 62 days, so I can still plant these probably closer to October. Um, also, if you look at the very back, you see how it says right here, the ideal soil temperature for germination is anywhere between 65 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So I can get this one started in September all the way through October. So I've got two months where I can put this one down. So kale is a really good variety. So I wanted to show you some that you can do as well. Um, this one's 50 days. I added my little dot here. Um, but you see how we can do so in early September or late summer. And if you look at the back, it's got the same ideal temperature for germination. So this is one that anyone can be planting right now, kill, and it's also frost tolerant. So it's actually better tasting when it gets a little bit of frost. Now this is my October seed start and um, again, this is from Cal and Kim, but I also have some in here that are not Cali's. Um, but I just wanted to show you, like for example, the sugar snap peas. I uh, can't wait to try this again. Carrots, you see like Halloween, October. You see my orange pin? <laughs> These are frost tolerant. So frost tolerant peas, frost tolerant carrots. Any root crop is really good um, for the fall. That's the perfect timing. Lemon balm. Um, I'm gonna try that out. And so is chives. Chives are really nice. Um, they flower very pretty. Um, so I can't wait to get these started. So here are some examples. Like even Callie sends you a free seed packet just for purchasing. Um, okay, so we've got this one. The California Poppy Orange. See how temperatures are from 80 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so all of these I'm gonna put in 
for October and see what we get. So I've got quite a few. I have a lot of so Melissa, uh, Calendula, and some nasturtiums. So these are some of the lettuces that I'm going to put in. We've got some uh, bronze. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, <laughs> some black seeded. Um, some parrot island. Oh, some romaine lettuce. We've got quite a few varieties of lettuce. We've got this scarlet and pure runner bean. Um, there's only a few beans there, but I'm excited to try that. And this one is different, and it gives you an idea here. You've got a cooler weather bean. So you've, you have a good variety here of things that you can put for the fall. Got that romaine lettuce and then um, some more romaine lettuce. I'm gonna have a lot of lettuce this time. I'm just gonna try different kinds until I find one that's my favorite, which I don't have one yet. And I want a lot of color, so I did pick varieties that could give me some color out in the garden. So more of my November seeds would be like this one, a kohlrabi, which I haven't tried yet. Here's more of my lettuces. So I've got a few varieties. My carrots, beets, we've got some herbs, cilantro and other varieties are in there. Um, some more lemon balm, and that's just an extra. But um, this is all gonna be October, November. See how easy it is to put those in? So I have this on top because I still need to put some of those in here. Okay, and um, for next month, because we're, today is August 30th, um, so it's like a few days, I'm still gonna try to do some more squash. Um, but I'm gonna try some more cucumber um, after the aphid infestation, maybe some more peppers. Um, different areas, um, some more, some nasturtiums. I really want to retry those. They didn't really do well here in the summer. Some more of the bush beans. And then I've got all these peas that I'm excited for. So all of this is going to be September plus what I have here in my Cali collection and October. So those are my varieties there. Actually, that goes over there. And then, now for what I'm gonna plant right now is going to be some sunflowers. I'm still gonna try some more sunflowers. Um, watermelon and cantaloupe. I'm gonna put a few seeds out there. Um, some cauliflower. So if you notice, here's the cauliflower. And it takes about 80 days for the cauliflower. So I think it's gonna get close to time for that. Um, this one's another one, the red cabbage. It takes about 85 days, so I'm right on the marking for that. Um, so yellow onions. So I've got my yellow onions that say 155 days. So I can't do this one, but I sure can do... Where is it? Oh. So I could do this one. I can try this one and see if maybe I can get lucky. This one says 100 days, um, but I wanted to show you these. So I can do these, my bunching onions. And you see I've got onions that are falling everywhere. I need to contain that one a little bit better. And um, we've got some celery. Celery takes about 80 days. So we're gonna try that as well. Um, here's my melons. We've got the um, kale crane red. This is more of a flowering kale. And then I've got marigolds. I'm gonna try some more marigolds. Just a little bit, not too much. I also have got a few others over here. And I also ordered some seeds from Baker Creek. <laughs> so I've got a few. The Golden Jubilee Tomato, some eggplant. I'm excited for the eggplant. Different types of tomatoes. Um, this is a purple pepper. 
um, an ancho poblano pepper, which I really want to try the fresh one. I've used the dried one, it's delicious. Okra. I didn't put any okra this summer, so I'm hoping that I can still try one variety. And then I've got some flowers here. Uh, we've got some daisies. I didn't have any daisies. Um, some flowers. These are more for fall color, so I can't wait to try those. Daisies. This says that this blooms in the summer, but you know, I'm gonna stick a couple seeds in a corner and see if maybe we can get lucky. And we've got some Morning Glory, some Black Eyed Susan Vine, uh, a different type of Xenias, um, Lavender, which I really don't think I'll be successful with this one, but we'll see. And some Anise. This one says 75 to 80 days. So that's the majority of these that say, um, you know, if it has days, if not, it says late summer or an annual. So these are really just um, trials. I'm hoping to get a harvest. If I don't get anything, at least I'll learn something from it. I think having a process for your seeds is really helpful. And I think what has kept me um, a little bit sane, because you can get overwhelmed, is to really have your seeds set by the month when you should sow them in because I've tried different ways to organize them and it's very overwhelming. I first tried, oh, let's just put all the varieties together and when I wanna to plant tomatoes, I'll plant tomatoes. I'll go to the tomato section. Um, it didn't really work like that for me. It's best for me to just know, okay, we are starting September, let's go get my September seeds and then I'll just put those out. I think that's gonna work best. <laughs> we'll see I don't know I might say something different next month um, whatever I have make sure to check in the description below I link a lot of the things and um, like even what I have on in case that you're curious um, I like to help you in any way I can um, so anyways after I said mm, so many times <laughs> I wanted to show you what a, a little bit of what I have in here. Um, this is the first time that I show my office. Actually, um, I have more of my home on um, my channel, which I haven't really used a lot. But last year, uh, me and my mom did a 28-day um, cleanse and actually put that on my channel. And it's just my name. It's uh, Daisy Gomez, and I'll link it just in case you're curious. But I show more of my house there and you know sometimes you just you know want to know a little bit more about the people that you watch um, I don't know I'm curious like that <laughs> uh, but I'll just take you a little bit of what I have and if you want to check out more just go to my little channel um, anyways I hope this was helpful and um, the next video is going to be of me pruning my orchard it's time for that and putting some seeds out so I'm super excited for that. <laughs> Stay tuned uh, for the next few minutes. And if not, you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. If you're looking from the entrance, that is the front of my house. You can see through the cul-de-sac. We can peek in here if you want to see. But um, that's our cul-de-sac. And over here, I wanted to show you this. Um, so my mom, so if you go back to your those videos, my mom, she loves to paint and while she was here, she painted these for me. So I have these in front of my desk. So for scooting back, that's my desk and I can see them. It's very plain. That's just how I have my office so far. It wasn't used for a while. And then we have a balcony. So this is the balcony front of the house. And we use that one often actually. So if you come over here, um, the back of it, um, I will link that sign. It's from Etsy, an Etsy shop, and I really love it. So because I started working from home because of COVID, um, I decided to decorate this a little bit better. Um, I love salt lamps. Love, love, love them. And this one's from Amazon. I'll link that as well. I had to have a plan, so that's a bamboo, and they're very resistant, so if I 
get to, if I forget to water it, um, it'll still survive after a week or so. <laughs> um, that's just where I keep some of my planners. And this is a diffuser. I love, love my essential oils and diffusing. Um, I will put some information below to I only use Young Living products and um, so I love those. I have a little stash here. This is what I'm using right now. <clears throat> um, this is from Costco. So they have furniture. Um, I think it changes after some time, but that's one of my favorite stores. That shelf is from Target. Um, I love puzzles and I've got some books there um, and that's storage. And over here, I like to do um, my lip balms and stuff like that. So I have some uh, of my product there. Some more oil stuff. And I like my quotes. That's fake. <laughs> um, I had these for a while and I just kept them there just to fill the wall. Um, but can't live without a shredder. And over here, it kind of looks a little bit messy on this side. But... <laughs> I forgot to mention, my friend gave me this bag and I carry my labeling uh, material in here. So my um, tape, some uh, toothpicks, a lot of Sharpies, and sometimes I carry my seeds in here to take them outside. And that's it, really. Um, this is my... Um, posting, editing, video, computer, and then these are my screens for when I dock here from work. So I've got a little dock, docking section here. So I have three working screens, um, so those are very helpful. And then over there is just the pictures. And then this my daughter gave me for my birthday, my youngest daughter. She's nine. And it's just full of love. I love it. So I just put it up here because what else can you do with this box? I didn't want to just close it up and store it. Well, thanks for staying. And I'll see you in the next one.